In this super quick Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you how to compress CMS items. Let's get straight into it. So in the previous tutorial, if you guys saw, you can actually compress items in Webflow or assets by clicking into this button right here. And then you can go ahead and click this expand panel and you can go ahead and just tick whatever you want or multiple and hit compress. This was covered in the previous tutorial. But the thing is, how do you compress CMS items? There's no real button or is there? There actually is. So what you can do right now is hit CMS, click on this three dot icon and hit compress assets. So let me just explain a bit further. Let's talk about like a blog. So think about a website, it has CMS. We all know what a blog is and a blog has different content inside. Right now in my example website, dereksu.com.au, I have almost like a blog which shows all these tutorials. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that right here. And you'll notice, for example, if I go into one of them, you can see this is something that I like to call a blog in depth page. And then inside a blog in depth page in Webflow, there's something called a rich text element. And what this allows you to do is to add images, add videos, etc., or allows the client to easily do, which maybe I'll, I'll make a tutorial covering that. But the thing is sometimes clients might add images that are too big. In the previous tutorial, I mentioned that you should definitely reduce the resolution of an image. For example, if you're a construction company and you hire a professional photographer and you take really nice photos and then the photos end up being like, let's just say, for example, 24 megabytes, obviously that's huge. And usually the resolution for that is something, for example, 8,000 by 8,000 pixels. But the reality is no one really has an 8,000 by 8,000 pixel computer. So you could compress it using a different software or website like JPG Compressor like so that will compress it but what i recommend is to reduce that resolution as i explained in the previous video and then on top of that just change it to a web p and in order to do that all you need to do is click this button right here and hit compress assets hit continue and this will literally compress all your assets inside every single cms collection and cms item based on the resolution so i hope you found that helpful and i'll see you in the next video if you found it helpful, please visit my website, dereksu.com.au slash value. Peace be with you.